The Bible is very clear that Satan is a murderer, he is a liar, he is a deceiver, he is an accuser, and he is also a hinderer of the things of God, and he is also a tempter. If we play along with these cultural trends of abortion, transgenderism, homosexuality, and all of these things that are very sensitive, but they are not sensitive when it comes to Satan, because to Satan, these are means to an end. But see, Satan doesn't want you to worship him. His main goal is that you oppose God with him. When Satan tempted Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, he didn't tempt them to worship him. His number one role, his number one nature is to cause you to rebel against God. Because as long as you get God out of the way, then you have to fill that vacant spot. You will have to redefine morality. You will have to redefine what is good and what is evil, what is right and what is wrong. Why? Because once you remove God, you become God and now you make your own rules.